different banger. Okay, we doing a lineup um, tutorial. I'm gonna teach y'all how to get this lineup all the way right. All right. Now y'all see what I'm doing right now is I got my one guard open. I'm going on the hairline. I'm basically trying to blend it into the other, like the thicker part of his head. Basically the rest of his head. Okay, so I'm taking that one guard open on the hairline, but I'm not like digging in. I'm kind of like freehanding it where the hot where the hair is thicker at and then applying more pressure towards the hairline so it's like it's giving it that fade effect from the hairline to the rest of his hair as y'all can see like one of his one of his corners is like super high or one side to the lineup is super high so what you want to do is we're going to start and that's on that side okay but one thing i noticed while i was cutting his hair when i cut all that um hair off on the left side our left his right it wasn't like a pushback because when you push somebody back you can see the hairline follicles all of that hair on his on his right side our left is actually overhanging so his right his left side our right is actually where his hairline is supposed to be so right now i got my one guy closed basically just been blending in that one guy open to the thinner parts of the hairline so when I did that one guy open I was just blending in the thicker hair to the hairline so it wouldn't fit so it wouldn't look like um, light hair straight to dark hair you wouldn't have a little gradients on that um, on that like to, from the rest of his head to the hairline part so right now I got my hairspray now that we done blended everything in and prepped it and got it all ready now I got my hairspray we're spraying it on everywhere in the lineup, then we're gonna blow dry it. So now I'm blow drying it with cool air. Do not use hot, you don't want your client to start sweating. Cool air, and I'm brushing it down at the same time. pushing back this side I'm just trying to cut the hair that's not supposed to be there I know I'm gonna have some trolls and some haters in there saying bro you pushed him back crazy but listen I'm really trying to teach you how to how to take this hairline like this or take any hairline that's crazy like this to the next level okay so just pay attention and wait for it to come out at the end before you comment <laughs> cuz man them trolls man they be getting to me sometimes but anyways man so after we did that side just hitting these vertical bars um i try to he doesn't have strong vertical bars so i try to like stop towards the end of his eyebrow you know that's that's the ideal place to, to put it at into his eyebrow so his forehead won't look too big or too wide but he doesn't have really strong um, vertical bars so you kind of want to just if they don't have strong strong vertical bars um just don't try not to go further than um, like the end of the eyebrow. Now, if their natural line is past the end of the eyebrow, then it's nothing you can do. You just want to keep it natural as possible. So now I'm doing um, the box part, just doing it like at the very last hair, and I'm kind of creating my own C cup right now. I'm keeping that C cup area like wide as possible, just so the taper can like blend into a sideburns. Yeah, and y'all can see me and my trimmers, man. Them just hitting. But it's mainly because of that hairspray, man. The hairspray does, does wonders. If y'all want to know what hairspray I use, I use the, the Tresemme 5 Hold. You can get that at Walmart. Or you can order it on Amazon. I'm trying to get this C cup right. Just going over it multiple times. As y'all can see, y'all can see how crispy it is. Y'all can see how blurry the taper is. All right, we get my boy right. But as you can see right here, um, 
y'all can see that like it's 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 a little different on his right side his right side is is all overhang now when i cut it down y'all gonna see what i'm talking about when i said it's not a pushback I mean, he does have a little widow's peak. I say that that would probably be considered a pushback. But as far as the whole right side where I'm at right now, it's not. I didn't see any like like hair follicles that um that you'll see when you push somebody back. But yeah, I usually work to. I usually try to tell people that I'm teaching how to cut hair, or if anybody asks me questions, they usually ask me which side to start on first. If somebody has a hairline like this, you always want to start on the higher side, okay? Now me, the way I the way I attack a lot of lineups is I'm right-handed, so I go to my right side first, okay? I used to go to my left side first, but it used to come out slanted a lot, so I figured, okay, let me try and go to my right side and then matching the left side to it. So I did that, and my lineups have been coming out crispy ever since, crispy and straight. As y'all can see, it's, it's real symmetrical right now. Got my elbow on the camera. <laughs> but yeah, I'm as you can see right here, I'm at the end of his eyebrow. So a lot of y'all might think push back, push back, but his vertical bars are not that strong. So you have to cut that light hair off. It's like his vertical bars is like they're not dark. So it's like it's more of a professional pushback. You feel me? But if you it's you should be pretty fine as, as long as you don't go past that um the end of that eyebrow because you go past the end of that eyebrow man that that's that could be crazy it'll make the forehead look mad white and the girl back on that would be vicious you don't want to do that I definitely want to go over your linings um, a couple times, okay? Don't keep going over and over and over it like the same spot. Um, the client might think you messed them up, you're trying to fix it. Um, and like, it could, it could, if you got haters, it could cause the skin to break and start bleeding, okay? You don't want to do that. Well, I'm at the bottom, I'm about to start at the bottom of this box. I just looked to see where the other side was. I started by the box where it's barely in the hair at and just lining that up. That's how you know it's real, like supernatural. Now right here on his C cup on this side, he does have a little, a little um, skin problem going on. So it's gonna look like it's bleeding a little bit. Like you, you can clearly see because he's light skin like the it's like it's almost like a like a patch almost of like a different color skin a little bit but we got we're gonna get it right so right now we're enhancing the cut we're basically just gonna enhance the light edges and um and blend it into the hair now a lot of people on my one video where i taught people how to um spray enhancements they said um they told me that his hairline was dark already and not to like, i shouldn't have lowered it that client specifically wants his hairline lower because his whole hair grows fast, you know? So even though he had thin corners, which he already had, no matter what I was gonna do, um, that's what he wanted. So he was like, if can you lower the front so my haircut can last longer? So that's that's what I did, and then the enhancement just applied it. Like his hair grows so fast, by the time the enhancement come off, he not gonna have thin corners anymore, so. That's why I did it that way. I can understand where a lot of people was, you know, thinking I went wrong at, but me and my clients, like, I, we understand each other. <laughs> so right now I'm just enhancing it. I'm trying to blend it in without spraying too much, making it look fake. You don't want it to look that fake, okay? But you can see clearly right now, from the, his right side, our left, to his left side, our right. Before I sprayed it, it's just, I'm just blending it in making it just like a tad bit darker, making it enhanced, making it more crispy, and just taking it to the next level. Now after looking at this, I, I should have raised the bottom of his left box up just a tad bit so it could be symmetrical to the other side. But um, 
the end of the day, the cut still came out super fire. We still still got his lineup real crispy, okay? And he still loved it at the end of the day. But, you know, as barbers, you know, you can, like, you like to overanalyze your haircuts. And now you see that, that little dark, that little light spot. Just gonna fill that in. Just a tad bit. He didn't cut anything down. So anything y'all seeing besides the taper is how he came in. He just got lined up on the taper. Y'all can see that, that skin stuff uh, situation I was talking about right there on that C cup. Now I got my Barber Magic Pencil. Got the, the tan. This is gonna bounce off his skin perfect because he's light, but he's not lighter than the pencil, okay? So after I put this on and then line it up and use the razor, it's gonna look super, super clean. Y'all see I'm taking my time with it. I'm not rushing it, not pushing too hard. Okay, you don't wanna push too hard because then it'll be hard to blend out. You don't want it to be hard to blend out. So I'm basically just tracing everything that I lined up. That's why you wanna make sure your lineup is crispy before you do all the enhancements because if you have a trash lineup, before enhancements, it's gonna be a trash lineup after enhancements, okay? So if you cannot get a, a lineup crispy without enhancements, um, I wouldn't recommend you use enhancements until you can do it natural. So as you can see, man, all I did was just bring out the crispiness, okay? Just brought out the crispiness, the crispiness in the cut, all right? So basically, we're just gonna go over it with my hitters again. I'm not pressing too hard, it might look like I am, but I'm not. I have real light hands, okay? Yeah, you can see that that magic, pencil, that magic pencil is just spreading off the skin. That's what you want. Um, when you use the razor, you're going to drag all of it to the skin and then dust it off. That's going to, you know, give it that super, super crispy effect. As you can see, man, this lineup is definitely coming together. Already looked like a new man, because when he came in, he was definitely struggling, bro. He was definitely struggling. As you can see, I raised that um, his right corner just a little bit, just to make the lineup more symmetrical. That is one thing enhancements can do though. They can show you if it's not straight or not. And I'm trying to be real careful over this, you know, the, over the skin situation over here. And I had broke my nail while I was playing basketball, man. Y'all can see that little bug. <laughs> I was playing basketball, man. My nail got a little too long and somebody Man, I think somebody threw the ball at my finger. And it just came off. I was like, oh, wee. Yeah, my nails, yeah. <laughs> now, on that other side, cleaning up that other side. Getting them crispy. Now, some people, believe it or not, some of my clients actually like to leave it like this. Like, they don't want me to use the razor. They just prefer to just use it and then just line it up after and then they leave it like that but um yeah a lot of people don't like it like that but there is there is some that do so don't be surprised if you get a client that just, just that just wanted like a heavy you know ash line like that or a heavy vibrant magic pencil line
this razor. All right, you just want to stretch the skin and slowly glide that razor to um, back to the hairline. Now you just want to make sure you be careful when doing this, okay? You definitely don't want to cut your client. You definitely don't want to you know, get a gash in it or basically just not see blood at all. If you can do um, a razor line with no blood, that's that's perfect. But y'all can see how the Barber Magic Pencil is just blending in. You know, it's basically just giving it just a little contrast from his skin to the hairline. Yeah, y'all see, I'm, I'm trying to be trying to be super careful in this, this skin situation right here on this C cup. skin or if we just had like a breakout or something yeah, you guys are going to see little little blood droplets but it's all good man it wasn't like leaking blood so that's pretty, it's, that's pretty okay crispy as possible and y'all see I'm using my crispy lines razor okay I can get that at crispylines.com I'm using my shear just to get that little hangover on the um, edge up side basically do the same thing you know stretch that skin use that razor my hands are dirty man I had got some of the <laughs> some of the enhancement spray on my hands bro you know I was trying to put it in the gun and it just splattered everywhere Now he dusting it off. Make sure he dusts it up after you use the razor, guys. Very important. As you guys, you see the before. You, you see how that one side is higher than the other, okay? And now in this video, I just wanted to show you guys how to take it from one level to the next level. So, uh, yeah, this is how it came out. Let me know what you think. Hopefully I helped you guys, you know what I'm saying? This is more like a non-sped up full version, you know, 101. Okay, hopefully I helped you guys. Let me know if it helped you guys. Follow me on Instagram at wavy underscore kev. And that's it. I'm out. We out. Deuces.